Hi, Kyra. Um, so just looking over your file here, um, noticing some of your text boxes are looking a little goofy. Um, let's see. So I don't think that these are actually threaded, these text boxes, because I'm adding a bunch of spaces in here and it's not affecting this box. So one way we can do that, we have an extra box here too, but um, let's just delete this one. We'll add another box in. Um, and then let's let's go to this black arrow tool. We'll click on this. We'll do this, and then we'll click inside of the text box. So now when I push return, they're linked. You can tell because the text that overflows will go into the other one. I'm going to go ahead and command A within there to highlight everything, delete that, and then do another control click and um, fill with placeholder text to fill both of these in. And then we have, as you can see, a properly threaded um, set of text boxes. Okay, and then also uh, another thing I'm noticing you know, if you have this on Window, Workspace, Essentials Classic, or you can also change it up in here. Um, but if you have it on that, then you can actually go up in this handy little dandy little area and use the columns up in here. Um, this will adjust the gutter space. And it kind of looks like this needs to be maybe at least to here. Um, and then you, at least you have the same sizes here. And it looks like your gutter on your document is probably too wide. So if we go to layout, margin columns, um, actually this, this isn't the right one. Layout, mm, margin and columns maybe. The gutter, oh that's between the gutter trying to figure out where well I can't remember where we would maybe it's let's go to file document setup maybe yeah I'm not seeing the gutter in here I might have to Google it, but this looks like a big gutter. Like if we look at Megan's file, her gutter is a lot smaller. So I think maybe somewhere along the way, um, your gutters maybe got changed around a little bit. Um, and then this maybe overlapping here doesn't look too bad, I guess, but I, I almost want to bring it over to at least maybe like right here or here and then use this white arrow tool to I don't know just center this a little bit better I guess since I cropped it maybe bring it up a little bit um, it does appear that you continued your um, images all the way to the bleed line so good job there um, other than that, everything looks pretty good. I mean, we don't necessarily need the strokes on the images. I know I didn't tell you to take those off, but um, yeah, other than that, you know, this is pretty much the size, same width as this box too, which helps tighten up the design. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, and then if we want to align these, we can push shift and top align them here or use the properties panel and use the alignment area in the properties panel to align things. Um, but yeah, this looks good. I think you did a good job. Okay, talk to you later.